Hi everyone! In this video, I'm going to show you how to use the elimination method to solve a system of two equations. So when you're using the elimination method, the first thing to do is to let one equation equal row 1, one equation equal row 2, and write them as one on top of the other. And then what you're going to do, you're only going to change one row at a time. And change um, can be symbolized by delta. So you see right here, I have a delta over the R1. That means I'm changing R1. So in the beginning, I had R1 over R2. So row 1 over row 2. I'm going to change row 1 by making it row 1 minus k can be any number, 1, 2, 3, 4, anything like that, times row 2. This doesn't have to be a minus, it could be a plus. So row, uh, row 1 is being changed by either adding or subtracting k times row 2. So it's this that becomes your new row 1. R2 you're not changing because you only change one row at a time. So I'm going to do an example. x plus y equals 2 3x plus y equals 4. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to try and get rid of this y so that hopefully I'll have, you know, x equals 2 or x equals 4 or something nice like that, a value x equals something. So to do that, I am changing row 1 so that I get x by itself and I'm going to do row 1 minus row 2 because then this y minus this y will become 0y so hopefully I'll get x plus 0y equals something. So first of all I'm going to write down r2 because I'm not changing it and it's just easy for me um, to remember which row I'm changing if I write down all the rows that aren't being changed first before I start doing this equation. So 3x plus y equals 4. r1 minus r2. 1 minus 3 is negative 2x. 1y minus 1y is 0y equals 2 minus 4 is negative 2. So that's good. I've gotten rid of my y, so now I only have one variable in row 1. So the next thing I'm going to do is negative 2x equals negative 2. I think I'll get x equals positive 1 if I divide row 1, the one I'm changing, divided by negative 2. So I'm going to do that over here. So negative 2x divided by negative 2x equals negative 2 divided by negative 2, 1. And I didn't change 3x plus y equals 4. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to change row 2 so that hopefully I can get y by itself. So how am I going to get y by itself? Well, I'm going to change row 2 and I'm going to change it by going row 2 I have 3x that I want to get rid of, so I'm going to minus 3 times row 1. So x equals 1 is the row I'm not changing. Row 2, 3x minus 3 times x is 0x. There's no y, so y minus 3 times 0y is y minus 0y is just y equals 4 minus 3 times 1, so 4 minus 3 is just 1. So I've ended up with x equals 1, y equals 1. And I'm going to check that by plugging it into my equation that I had originally. So x is 1 plus y is 1. Does that equal 2? It does. And 3 times 1 plus 1 does that equal 4? And it does. So I know that the answer I've got is right. So there might be a situation where you don't get something nice, x equals something, y equals something. You could get 
0 plus 0 equals 7, let's say that's row 1, um, so if you had like 0x plus 0y, it's never ever going to equal 7, no matter what x or y equals. So we say that that has no solution. Or you might get a situation where let's say, I don't know, row 3 has 0 equals 0. Well, if it's 0x equals 0 or 0y equals 0, it doesn't matter what x or y equals. 0 times anything is always 0. So we say that has infinitely many solutions. So I hope you found this video helpful and have fun on your math.